Hello Composers, Mike here. In this video you will learn three ways to use the power of track stacks in Logic Pro X. Let me show you right now. I will also give you a bonus tip in the end of this video. Track stacks in Logic Pro X are incredibly powerful. Take a look here, these are the track stacks I have set up in this current composition I'm working on. One for all the percussion, as you can see here, one for the bass, the main bass line, one for the low end instruments, not including the main bass line, one for the driving rhythmic instruments, one for the backing tracks, and right now it's only these strings here, and one for the front, meaning the main theme instruments. Together they sound like this right now. I will now show you three different ways you can use track stacks in Logic Pro X. Number one, use them as folders to organize your tracks here in the sequencer. As you can see, you can get a lot of tracks, meaning lots of scrolling, but if you use folder track stacks, you can get away from this. So if you simply take two tracks like this piano here and this strings here, well, select both of them, right click here in the track header in the upper area and then choose create track stack. And now you can use folder stack here, which means if I do this now, I just created a folder which I can call test folder in this case. And now both of these instruments are in here. But as you can see, I cannot play this now. I need to select individual instruments because if I go into the mixer to show you this now, you can see that this is actually not a channel bus. It is simply a container containing both of these tracks inside the piano and the strings. So that's the folder track stack. The next one is my personal favorite, which is the summing stack, which is what I have been using here. In this case, for example, let's say we take the drive track stack here. Now, these might look the same as the folder stack, but the difference is that this is actually its channel bus. So if I open up the mixer, you can see that all of these tracks are sent to the bus, which is this, the master track, the summing track stack, which is this here, you can see drive, and that in turn is sent to the stereo output. One great advantage of using the summing stack method to create channel groups like this is that you can now process and mix these uh, as groups. So let's say you have a group for your strings. Well, you can mix those as a groups, put EQ and other insert effects on the group instead of having to use lots of insert effects on each individual track. So this will save you some CPU power and also boost your workflow when mixing. Now the third way of using track stacks in Logic Pro X is for layering and sound design. So you start by setting this up the same way as a ordinary summing stack for group mixing purposes. Let's say we take this piano and strings again and if we right click here and then choose the create track stack then we choose summing stack. Well, as you have already learned, this creates a summing bus here in the mixer, right here. But you do not need to play the individual tracks. You can actually play the summing stacks as a sound design or layering tool like, like this. This will play both the piano and the strings. <laughs> as you can see, so the way I use this is perhaps for my bass line, I want to layer a sub bass with an electric bass and a synth bass. So instead of recording each of the layers themselves, like I do here on the lows, for example, these are different performances. You can instead use it as a layering tool for sound design to create a whole new sound from the tracks inside the track stack. So I have a sub bass here, an electric bass and a synth bass and now you can actually play and record on the actual track stack as I have done here. Now this part will be played on all of these and sent to this bus so you can record on the track stacks like this. 
as you saw here, all of these checks were playing in this case. I find this a very powerful feature of the track stacks in Logic. Now my bonus tip for you might seem simple, but I find it very practical. And that is, if you noticed here when I created the track stack from the piano and strings, well, it created this channel icon. I prefer to actually have a folder icon to separate my tracks from my folder tracks, whether they are folders, track stacks or whatever. So you simply right click on the, the track stack here and change to this other and this folder icon. Or if you prefer, you can of course use specific instrument icons to represent your different sections. So let's say this percussion track here could be represented by a drum kit, the bass track stack by a bass, and your strings with a string section and so on. Check out my complete video series on Logic Pro X tutorials and tips here on my channel. Learn and master Logic Pro X to boost your music composition and production workflow.